A job in Independence quickly turned into a history lesson for workers with a local tree removal company. What they found dates back to the days of the Civil War. KCTV5's Greg Payne has the story. At first glance, this looks like just an average tree stump, which to be honest, it is. But when you do a little bit more digging on it, you realize that it's actually a piece of history, which people quickly learned once this tree was actually cut down. It was diseased. It was, uh, there was parts of it that was a danger to these houses behind it, and we had to take it down. What started out as a safety project quickly turned historic when the owner of Jeff's Tree Service brought the tree back to the shop. About a week ago, I was splitting wood and some of it and a cannonball fell out of it. Yes, a cannonball, but there's more. This is just one of the uh, limbs that was in the tree and you can see the chains are grown into it. Um, this is just a small piece. That was another piece there. I don't know anything about the history of it other than I've never seen a tree like that that had chains and cannonballs in it. So. That's pretty cool. But there are two people who have some answers. The owner of the house, also known as the Overfelt Johnston House. Who are the proprietors of the Wagner Gates Milling Company. And Ralph Goldsmith, an Independence tour guide. Lots of action took place right here on this hill. I hear they found a cannonball in a tree here. That's quite interesting because I tell the tourists every day about the two Civil War battles that were fought here on the streets of Independence. The first battle of Independence took place right across the street from the home. This was known as Cannon Hill which isn't very shocking since the owner, Randall Pratt, says this is the second one found. It's between two and three pounds. The first was spotted in 1980 when the home was restored. There was a first one that had been shot by the Union Army defending itself that was lodged in the brick just to the left of the window. That cannonball is now in the Jackson County Historical Museum. As for this one, Pratt has other plans. It was part of the tree for at least 157 years and it will stay with the house as um, as a, I suppose, a reminder of its history and the significance of its place in that history. Pratt is in the process of restoring the house again. As for the tree, most of it has been bought by Larry Smith. We could build a lot of stuff out of this one tree. This is one out of nine slabs that we cut out of that main log. But Smith says he plans to give back by using some of the wood in the home restoration, possibly for a mantle. Reporting in Independence, I'm Greg Payne for KCTV 5 News.